Hey everyone, this is Michael with Duncan Aviation. Today we're at our avionics shop here in Denver where they're wrapping up this full Garmin installation on a CJ2. Garmin has just released this STC, which will provide cutting edge technology to this airframe. Now, many of you already have the GTN 750s, but now we're adding the dual G600 TXI displays, the GFC 600 autopilot, and the new digital engine display, as well as many other systems that are behind the scenes. One of the things Garmin does really well with this upgrade is provide safety features that we're used to having in a two crew environment, but giving us these benefits when we're flying single pilot. For example, you can bug your rotate speed, V1 and V2 on your airspeed indicator, but you also have the option to have those speeds orally called out while you're doing your takeoff run, just like a two crew environment. Another one of the benefits of flying with a co-pilot is that the pilot monitoring is keeping an eye on the things that the flying pilot might miss, including unstable approaches. Now, while you're on an approach, this system will provide oral callouts to assist uh, in recognizing unstable approaches by calling out your airspeed if you're 20 knots too fast or three knots too slow from your bug VREF. It will also alert you if your glide path or your lateral deviation on the approach is a half scale deviation or more. On the final stages of the approach, the wind is always changing, and sometimes we don't catch drastic changes. So the system will alert you if the crosswind gets over 26 knots or if the tailwind is over 10 knots. Also, one of the great benefits of the new engine display is you'll set the outside air temperature and the system will calculate your target N1 for takeoff, max continuous thrust, and go around and bug this value on the N1 indicators and you can see them right there. So you don't have to be in the book looking these numbers up when you really need to be heads up flying the airplane. With the new GFC 600 autopilot, you're going to enjoy some technology that hasn't been seen in older jets. You'll get VNAV so you can fly fully coupled arrivals as well as better descent planning and control. You'll also get emergency descent mode, which can be manually selected or it can be automatically uh, turned on. If the autopilot is on, uh, it's over 20,000 feet and the cabin pressure goes above 12,500 feet. Once the emergency descent mode is engaged, either manually or automatically, the airplane will turn 90 degrees and start a descent 10 knots below VMO, down to an altitude of 15,000 feet. Again, the autopilot is performing this whole maneuver. The autopilot also comes with ESP, which is Electronic Stability and Protection System. This system continually monitors uh, the orientation of the airplane so that when the pilot is hand flying, if they go outside of certain pitch and roll parameters, the autopilot servos are gonna kind of start helping you like, hey, you're in a dangerous situation here. If the pilot just continues to force the airplane into a dangerous situation, maybe they're confused or disoriented or not paying attention, the autopilot will automatically come on and go into level mode. All the pilot has to do is just let go. There are situations when the pilot gets overwhelmed during an approach, especially if it's at night or bad weather where you may have the engines pulled back and the gear and the flaps out. Well, this would be a situation like a circle to land type situation. So you'll have the power back airplane levels off and you're not paying attention. Older autopilots will maintain altitude until the airplane stalls. The GFC 600 won't do that. It has uh, underspeed protection. So what underspeed protection is, is it's triggered by the stick shaker activation when the autopilot is engaged. The autopilot will pitch down and maintain two knots above the stick shaker deactivation airspeed, giving you time to add power and regain control without the airplane continuing on stick shaker or even possibly stalling. There are so many great things to discuss about this upgrade and we can't get to them all, but I did want to quickly discuss the GWX 8000 radar system. I know it looks like a normal radar, but the technology has drastically improved over the past few years. This radar is constantly scanning the whole sky to give you a full picture of the weather in front of you. You also have the option to add turbulence detection and predictive wind shear. Now you combine this with the GDL 69 XM weather system and you'll have a complete picture of the weather facing you. And this is just a brief overview of the whole installation for the CJ2 that Garmin is providing us. 
If you have any questions about this system, feel free to give us a call at any time and we can go over all the options and everything that it brings to you. From everyone here at Duncan Aviation, especially the team from Denver, thanks for tuning in.